The Hager company produces electrical components. It's based in Germany, but also has production facilities in France, where it employs 1,200 people. Jean-Luc Fuentes has been with the company for more than 20 years. Workers on both sides of the border are worried about their future. Of course, we talk about it all the time. All Europeans are worried, especially when it comes to their jobs. And you wonder if young people will be able to find work later on. That's a big worry. Questions about the differences between Germans and French only annoy the workers. Here in the border region, that sort of thing is irrelevant. We profit from the Germans, and they profit from us, from our technology, for example. 80% of what Hager produces for export stays on the European continent. Annual sales total around one and a half billion euros. Several trucks a day come from France to the German plant to pick up new components. Thierry Uck has worked for Hager for decades. He even shuttled between German and French facilities for the company's founder. When I drive over to the German side, I see that there are no longer any differences from the French part of the company. Of course, the German side's a bit more perfectionist in their work. But otherwise, there aren't that many differences anymore. Although, the working times aren't the same. They quit earlier in Germany. It's 160 kilometers from here to company headquarters in the Saarland region of Germany. More than 50 years after the company's founding, the German CEO is as convinced as ever of the advantages of producing in both countries. Advantages in technological advancement that give the company a competitive edge. The electricity in France comes from above, in Germany it comes from below. In terms of our approaches to the work routine, a Frenchman might go into a meeting with the intention of discussing an issue. A German will go into a meeting to wrap things up. He might have already made the decision and just wants to validate it in the meeting. The two nationalities work closely together at Hager. And, of course, the CEO speaks French. The language on the shop floor, though, might be French or German. One of Hager's main product lines is control boxes for subsidized housing. But the Eurozone debt crisis could put a dent in company revenues. In Germany and in France, certain things will not be getting the attention they deserve. Like social housing construction in France, for instance. In Germany, you'll see the winding down of everything that's been done over the past few years to get out of the debt crisis. And repairs to schools and public buildings is another business that will dry up. The company's German workers might go home earlier at the end of the workday, while the French prefer a long, relaxed lunch break. But one thing is the same on both sides of the border, the pay. <laughs> 